What is going on? Um, it's Tom, aka Gyro. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, but yeah, so I just want to make a setup video. Hopefully you enjoyed the little clips in the beginning. Um, nothing crazy. Um, the wire management's really bad, but I just figured I'd make an in-depth um, tutorial of like what I see on like a, like on like a daily basis and maybe it'll encourage you guys to maybe make some upgrades if you so decide to so um first of all if you don't know I stream uh, go to twitch.tv slash it's just gyro it should be in the description um but yeah so we're just gonna give you an overview right now of everything I use um, my, um, I'm also going to make an OBS Streamlabs review, um, uh, cause I have like the prime or whatever. And then, um, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to go into the setup here. Well, first of all, we have three monitors. Um, I don't, I'm actually going to put it in night so you guys can see the lights. It looks mad cool. But, um, yeah, I have really bad cable management. So, um, just ignore that but in the meantime <clears throat> so we have three monitors this is a 34 inch ultra wide uh, LG uh, monitor so it's 75 Hertz and one millisecond response time um, the, I actually just moved uh, this webcam or, or, the, or the tripod out of the way so I could get a little shot of the computer which is over here um <clears throat> but yeah so 34 inch ultra wide we have the 24 inch um, i'm pretty sure this is move the mic out of the way um the vqe 258 or something like that from asus um really sleek really awesome um so yeah, and then we just have, it's a, this is a 144 hertz, one millisecond response time monitor, if you just want the numbers. So, and then over here, um, my first semester of college, uh, I wanted to bring my PS4 up, so I no longer have that, shout out Avery, but um, yeah, so this is what I used to play COD Modern Warfare when it came out, um, and this is a 60 hertz, 140, or not 144, 60 hertz, uh, one millisecond response time for the little extra gaming edge, so to speak. Um, so yeah, I use that as a vertical monitor for Discord and soon to be using it for chat. It's really good just for like watching, not watching things, but like reading things like articles if for like school or whatever. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. <clears throat> um, so yeah, as for the keyboard, it's kind of messy. As you can probably see here, it's actually mad dusty. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah so we have the logitech g pro um had this for a year now my, my brother bought it for me it's done wonders it's small compact um and really does get the job done um so yeah um and then over here we have of course the og razor death adder um it's really awesome i love this freaking i love this freaking thing um it it's pretty self-explanatory if you guys don't know this it's one of the best gaming mouse gaming mice to ever be made besides the g502 um the g502 is the mouse i had before this and before i had the g502 i had one of these i had the og uh, death adder so the first mouse i actually ever bought um which is pretty sick and i i, I had to go back it's a great mouse so then we're going to get into, if you guys notice here, I have one of the docks for the Mac, which I'll get into later. Um, just chilling up there. But, <clears throat> yeah, so we have the little shaker here. Got this at Marshall's. Uh, it's from Lunder Bottle. Pretty sick. Used for, like, water and shit um, for the hydration button on stream. Um, and then here we have the stream deck. If you guys notice, I have the same background as I do... The, that really cool asus colored logo um yeah so the the i have all my buttons here up here i don't know if you can really see this it's very bright but this is my twitter button so it'll send out a tweet every single time when i go live just press it and, and it'll send a tweet out um 
And then this is actually my CPU percentage, um, and we'll get into that in a bit. Um, we have the clocks, you know, what's kind of, what time it is. If you don't really feel like looking at your monitor, you just have it down here. But um, we have your viewer count, which doesn't really work. I have a clip button. I actually have the battery for my Logic Pro X uh, wireless gaming headset. We'll get into that in a bit too. Um, we have my different scenes down here. Uh, we have some really cool sound effects. The, the uh, was that? That's the John Cena one. This is like the OG when Patrick from SpongeBob screams. We have the fail effect from SpongeBob. We have the whole Wumbo speech. We have some pretty. We have some really cool uh, sound effects on there. We also have a voice changer with a whole lot of really cool sound effects uh, through voice mod. But I'll do another video on that um, on like more string streaming peripherals and that sort of thing. So now now we're gonna get into the webcam. Um, I actually just had to go back to this because uh, the DSLR I have right now, I think the sensor is burning out. I'm kind of just trying to make this video as short as possible so it doesn't cut out on me. So, um, yeah, we have this. This is the Logitech G, or not G, the Logitech 930E. Um, really awesome. I got this about two years ago. Um, it was my first webcam I ever had, and it's still going strong. Pair that up with the ring light that I have in the corner. I got this from Walmart. I don't really know what brand it is, but um, yeah, it's really bright and it has three different modes of light, warm, cold, and like a more of a bluish light. So Arnold Schwarzenegger, but um, yes, now we're gonna get into the headphones. Um, we have the, I'm actually gonna turn on the lights for this, but uh, ignore all of, this is my bowling, this might like my bowling trophies and shit, but um, Got some food over here that we got to eat for dinner. But yeah, so these are the Logic G Pro X's. They're really freaking dope. I put the foam uh, foam pads on. They're really, really cool here. Um, and we have different modes on, or not different modes. We have the volume button, which, which uh, controls the general volume for a computer. The on off button. We have a detachable mic. All right, pretty cool. Um, if you don't really feel like using that microphone if, or if you have an extra one like this, but, um, we'll actually get into that in a bit too. So, um, yeah, these are really, these are like meant for like esports and that sort of thing. Um, and they're also completely wireless. I would not trade them for literally anything. Before these, I had the Turtle Beach e uh, Atlas Aero. I'll throw a picture up on screen for you guys so you can, you know, go look at it if you want. Um, what's it called? And for these, uh, they actually, these are the regular uh, leather pads they come with. Um, and I just took these off because I found myself getting very loud at night because I couldn't actually hear myself. So, yeah. Um, we have the remote control for the lights. I just got these off Amazon years ago, but... I'd be, I'd be liking the blue, so I want to keep it as blue, or even green to go with the mouse pad, but I like the blue, so I want to keep it blue. Um, as for the mouse pad, this is the, um, forget where, I don't know where the tag is at, but I'm pretty sure the tag is on the right side. Um, it's right here, if it will actually focus, yeah, Razer. It is the Razer Goliath Maximus, like, or Maxim something. Uh, the box is down there in the rubber somewhere, but we, we ain't gonna go into that. Um, it's a 3XL mouse pad, and it this is a 59 inch desk, guys. Um, and it takes up almost the entire desk. It's friggin' awesome. Wouldn't tr would not uh, I would not advise getting this unless you have a big enough desk, but um. Yeah, it definitely fits all of my needs. Um, we'll get into like the Apple stuff in a bit. We have the app, the AirPod Pros. We also have a remote control for that TV. So we'll get into that TV in a bit. Um, don't really use it that often. Um, so yeah, we have now, we have the microphone. Um, this is um, a JLab Pro Talk microphone. This retail is like 130. Um, it's not. I personally liked the Yeti more, 
but this looks a little bit more professional um because it has like this extra little stand here and i put this on the shock mount so you can't hear me bouncing it up and down and wiggling around or if my desk moves you know that sort of thing helps it keep it the extra noise out of the microphone so and you can finally find all these parts on amazon um this is like a standard shock mount and about like 20 bucks and then i got this microphone arm it's my first ever mic arm i probably should be upgrading soon but um yeah first ever mic arm this uh like this is like a new air i think new air um i'll i'll put a link to that in the description um but yeah uh for this tripod that i have here i don't know what brand it is but i got it uh at best buy for like 15 bucks and it's honestly really nice for how much it costs um so yeah and i use that for my webcam of course so usually this uh right over here would be behind my monitor in front of my computer and speaking of the computer we'll get there in a second but we're gonna get into the peripherals first so this is a lacy uh, external rugged drive that i use for um my, my macbook like transferring files in between my, my main computer and my macbook pro which we will look at in a bit um we have the nvidia rtx 2080 super box founders edition I don't know if I said that already, but um, yeah, now we have two items here that have dramatically helped me out. This is an Apple iPad Pro 12.9 inch for college. Um, combine that with this uh, Apple, um, we have a TikTok message there, but um, this Apple iPhone XS Max. Um, it's actually my first iPhone. Don't judge me. All right. We have a nice big egg and cheese here. Um, uh, we got the car keys and shit there but yeah here we have the macbook pro um it is uh very very useful um we use that we use this to transfer files from here to here and here to here um when, when i'm in school it really helps if i have to like bring a pro or like edit a project or something for like a film class or something um i'm a film major so these items seriously help me uh we also have the apple pencil to go with that um yeah uh what else and we have this which has it plugs in to the side of here as so and it has an sd card slot a um this will actually focus um, two USB 3.0s, two Thunderbolts, and uh, it's okay. I personally wouldn't recommend it just because you can get a way cheaper one um, on Amazon for like 30 bucks or something, and it has a lot more on it. So, um, and then we're going to move on to the PC. Um, the PC has, I'll actually list all the specs down below, but I actually just upgraded all of it. Um, we're rocking 32 gigs of RAM, an i9-10850K, overclocked to 4.9 gigahertz. We have a um, Corsair uh, Capellix uh, cooler. Keeps it real cool at like 40 degrees Celsius. And of course, we have the Founders Edition RTX 2080 Super. We have an we have a EVGA gold rated 850 uh, watt power supply power and all this stuff and we have a 500 gigabyte nvme drive and for games uh and for like streaming software and then we have a four terabyte uh hdd rotational for uh like uh like videos and like very large files and that sort of thing so yeah um yeah it's pretty much uh like it for the setup um yeah my face doesn't really look that good right now to be quite honest with you but yeah my room is really messy um moving back from college um it was kind of rough i'm not even gonna lie um i moved my entire setup my desk everything speaking of desk if you're wondering what desk i have i have a ikea linamon 59 inch 
desk. Okay, it's great. Um, four legs and a top. It's pretty much about it. So, yeah, that, that's going to conclude it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I hope you have a nice rest of your day. Hopefully it's good so far. Um, peace.